Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Jo from Plan to Create. Uh, this week I'm doing something a little bit different. I have been asked a couple of times uh, previously to do this video and it is a video of my Gilio uh, planner cover and planner collection. Um, I've popped them into some categories. We have Apuntos, Giramondos and Campagnas. So I will start with my Campagna collection. Okay, so we've got some different sizes here. Okay, first off we have, let's just pop those over there. Uh, this is a Mia Cara in anthracite in the medium size. So if you're not familiar, a Mia Cara comes in two parts. You get uh, this section here, which has the big back pocket, has a popper pocket here. On the side, you get a zipper pocket, a internal pen loop here, and some card slots. And then you get the insert. So this is where the rings are. Now the back part, in the darker colors, it's black. And I think in some of the lighter colors, this is more of a tanny, um, tanny cover. That part, I don't believe is leather. Uh, just gives it a bit more stiffness to be able to slide it in. So you can actually um, use this on its own. So in essence, you get two planners for the price of one because you can just use that and then pop in a notebook in here because this is um, quite big. It is actually a little bit bigger than the um, medium Campagna. So you can sort of see there, it's sort of substantially wider and it is actually a little bit taller as well. Um, so you can have multiple uses for this, um, for this planner. So, which is good because if you get sick of using the rings, you can then take the rings out and put a notebook in and there you go. So I'm not gonna do a flip of what I've got. Most of these um, are set up. So I'm not gonna do a flip of them, but just to show you the actual covers. So as I said, this one is anthracite. I'm trying, I'm trying to get uh, the colors as true to life as possible. Unfortunately, I love my office, but the lighting is terrible. So apologies for that. This is my very first uh, Gilio product that I bought, which is a medium Campagna, and it is brown and gold. Yes, brown and gold. It was a very long time ago. Uh, so with the uh, Campagnas, which is a personal size, uh, you get a zipper pocket here on the side, a slip pocket, a card pocket, a secretarial pocket, and also your big pocket. Uh, you get a fly leaf in the uh, same leather, which is awesome because it protects your inserts. And then at the back, now you do get um, to choose your rings. You can have gold or silver. Uh, and you have card slots at the back, another secretarial pocket and your pen loop. Now, this one I have um, taken the rings out a couple of times and attempted to put Stalogies in, but for some reason I've seen people do it and a B6 Stalogy will fit, but for some reason um, it doesn't really fit in mine, so um, I popped the rings back in. Next, I have a Slim Campagna, so this is a personal size uh, planner, but it is called the Slim so as you can see, there's a bit of room at the top and at the sides, it's just more compact. Uh, and you get a little bit of a different um, 
configuration on the inside so you get uh, what have we got three card slots and a bigger pocket and a secretarial pocket at that on the left side and then you get three more card slots and a secretarial pocket there now I have cut down a Stalogy and to personal size here and I took the rings out and just covered it with washi tape um, Just being that I absolutely love the black poker leather um, But I'm not too sure on The size so but that's I can always pop the rings back in that Okay, and then for my last um, Companion I have an a6 uh, this is in croco matte aubergine. That's the colour. Now, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but I have a tiny, tiny little pen mark and a dot. So this one now lives in its cover on the shelf because uh, I don't want to get any more marks on it. This is um, its a real sort of velvety touch. Um, Okay, so on the inside, we've got the four card slots at the side, and then you have a couple of uh, slip pockets. You actually have three, so you've got one, two, and a third one. The A6 size comes with ring protectors. These can be removed. And also, uh, the fly leaf comes with a pen loop. Okay, so obviously it is a six size. So at the back you have your uh, other ring protectors. Then you have some horizontal sort of pockets here. So you get two. And then you have the zip pocket um, at the side that has a little leather. Uh, let me see. Wrong way. A little leather flap over the zipper which is awesome because it protects whatever you've got in the back from getting um, ruined from the zipper then you have your pen loop which is elastic okay and as you can see I have this quite um, chunked up so I leave them set up when I stop using them because um, I might decide tomorrow, okay, I want to go back into my A6 rings. I've got it set up and I can just pick it up and go. So that is my Campagna collection. So I have four. Um, I would like to add a personal wide to that collection. Okay, now for my Duramondos. I have a B6 in... Sorry about that, that was my husband. Okay, so these are my Giramondo. So I have a B6 in uh, bubblegum croco mat. And inside we have the four card slots, a slip pocket and a secretarial pocket and four strings. And normally what I do is uh, I will pop the book in here at the back because um, I don't, especially if I'm using Astology, I don't like to use the strings. So, um, yeah. So, the way that the strings are for this, you've got the four on the top and then there's another four sort of underneath. So, you could put a smaller book in as well if you wanted to. Okay, so... And their elastics are sort of off center at the back and not at the side. So we've got that one. And then this is the Duramondo standard size deluxe. This one is in uh, burgundy, I think it is. Um, so what we have here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pockets, card pockets on both sides with two large 
slip pockets. It does not have a back pocket. Uh, I remember when it was released that they said that they had issues with this pulling um, with the strings um, when their prototypes had sort of a back pocket on it. Uh, so this I had been using um, a cut down Stalogy that I put in the back and obviously um, this has six strings being a deluxe so you can fit a lot more in it and it is quite substantial in size so you've got your two pen loops here and you also have a snap closure which I loved now um, with TNs I don't tend to chunk them up too much um, but these are extremely roomy you can put quite a number of um, books in them and unfortunately I got pen on it not long after I I think I'd had it less than a week and then I tried to get it off and it's <sighs> almost ruined so thankfully an ollie clip um, hides that whole thing so uh, yeah so I've got that covered up so when I do use it um, and I've just got a little um, acrylic keyring from uh, Marshmallow Studios on there at the moment. Um, yeah, so when I'm using that, I'll put an Ollie clip on it and it totally covers up um, my boo-boo, but that's part of its character now. So, because um, they will they will mark up, they will sort of, you'll get scratches and marks on them, but they do, this leather, a poker leather, it is just absolutely beautiful and it is my favorite leather i have a number of planners from different companies um and this leather is my favorite to me this is what real leather is and they all smell amazing okay so the last section that i have is my uh, Apuntos. So the one that I'm currently in is a A5 um, Apoka Black that I have my uh, Habanichi Avec, Cousin Avec in that I'm using at the moment. So um, just to show you, you have your, you have one slip pocket at the side, you have your card slots, another full slip pocket, at the back you have a zip compartment, a little secretarial, and of course, uh, your big full length pocket. So that would fit an A-size um, sheet of paper in there, no problem. So that's the one I'm currently using, and this is what I am alternating with. And this is again an A5 in the gray croco matte. And same configuration on the inside. You have your card slots um, on the side. And I love this because um, the pockets have the different uh, sections of the croco pattern. So I've got the two in the small, the two pockets with the, the big pattern, and two pockets that have got a split of both. So I was very lucky with that because each of their planners um, are different they're all sort of original so you've got your zip pockets you've got your secretarial your big pocket and of course they i forgot to mention they come with two bookmarks that have the matching leather uh, little dots on the bottom okay so that's my a5s uh, next I have the B6 in Rosewood um, Croco Matte. It's a, very, it's a very different feel to um, the grey. It's, I'm trying to think of a way to describe it. It's more of a, suede's probably not the word, but dusty feel. I don't know, it's hard to describe. Um, and... Again, same sort of configuration. You've got your pockets, 
slip pocket here, slip pocket here, your secretarial pocket, your zipper, and your uh, large back pocket. And my zip seem to have my zips broken. Hmm. Oh, I don't know what's going on there. I'll have to try and fix that. Yes, my zipper is broken. Oh, not happy about that. I have had this a couple of years, but I don't, there's nothing in there. So I'll have to see if I can, I don't know how to fix that, but hang on. I think we've done it. Yep. Oh, that's good. All fixed. <laughs> Um, and of course you've got your pen loop as well. Okay, so that's the Croco uh, Rosewood with the matching uh, bookmarks. Next I have another B6. This is in the Apoca Leather in Gold. Um, they all have silver hardware. With the rings you can choose between silver and gold. Um, but all of the ones that I have all yet yeah, all the poppers are silver so that's just something to keep in mind not that you see it when it's closed anyway and if you've got it open um, so this is a B6 we have the matching uh, bookmarks same pocket configuration again and uh, your zipper secretarial pocket and this is a B6 Stalogy 365 that I have in there so okay and last but not least this is the uh, a Slim Apunto which is designed to fit the Hobonichi Weeks this is in the black uh, matte uh, not black charcoal uh, charcoal matte Croco. Um, I love the feel of this one. It is, it does feel different. Um, it's more velvety, this one, to the rosewood. Um, but it does pick up dust, and I don't know if you can see, but it's sort of starting to get little bits of shiny um, patina on parts that stick up in the pattern first. Um, so I'll be interested to see how this ends up. Um, so, yeah, so this one's designed to fit the uh, Hobonichi Weeks. You have your pen loop, exactly the same setup. We have uh, our card slots, our slip pocket, another slip pocket here, and this one also has a back pocket these large back pockets are awesome um, for receipts bills um, any sort of larger pieces of paper it doesn't matter what size um, you have yeah it doesn't matter what size um, planner you have you can fit so much stuff in this back pocket um, so there you go so that is my collection as it stands today um i would actually like to get a standard size i would love for this to come out in um black poker um this is only a new product and it only come out in a few colors so hopefully they will bring that out uh in the black otherwise i would like a just a standard not a deluxe uh, Giramondo in the standard size in the black. So whichever one comes out first uh, will be my next purchase. So there you go. There's all my Julios that I have at the moment. Um, hopefully, if you're thinking about getting a Giramondo, a uh, Giramondo, a Julio, um, that this might help you decide uh, the the type of planner that you um, are looking for. These are my absolute favourites, um, although I probably have one or two too many at the moment, so a couple of them might get sold, um, but the rest I will be keeping for a very long time. Alrighty, well thank you so much for stopping by to have a look at my little collection. Uh, I really appreciate your support. 
Love it if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you soon with another one. Bye.